I'm going to be demonstrating a muscle energy technique to increase abduction of the glenohumeral joint. So I have my patient lying supine and uh, I'm going to be on the side that I want to increase her abduction. Uh, she has posterior capsule tightness and so we would use the Tyler technique to um, get a baseline to see how much uh, abduction she has and so that would be our baseline. Then I, um, this muscle energy technique actually uses a contract and hold, go ahead and slide towards me just a little bit, a contract and hold uh, uh, method to be able to increase her abduction. So I'm going to have her on her side and I'm going to bring her into flexion horizontal flexion and some ex internal rotation of her shoulder and just let her relax in this position. Now to make sure that it's just the glenohumeral joint and not um, um, scapular motion, I'm going to stabilize her scapula here to the table and make sure that she's, and, and depress the shoulder. So I'm gonna get her into that beginning position and if I see that her shoulder starts to slide up towards her ear, I would want to restabilize. So I'm holding her scapula and, and uh, bringing her into this horizontal adduction. And so I'm going to have her um, press against me about 40 or about 25 percent of what her maximum contraction would be for about five seconds. Now go ahead and relax and bring it across your body. So I'm going to have her actively AB or adduct, and I'm going to give her some slight overpressure as she's actively pulling across. I'm not pushing any further than what she herself could do. Then I'm going to do this two more times. Push against me. Good. And relax, pull across. So this is her own motion and I'm just guiding her. And then let's do that one more time. Push up against me. One, two, three, four, five, and now pull across. So she's as she's actively pulling across, she is um, pulling across with her AD ductors, which actually with reciprocal inhibition allows the AB ductors to be stretched. So we would do that about three times, and then we would do the Tyler technique again to see if we have increased glenohumeral uh, abduction for this muscle energy technique.